Hey everybody, I'm Jeff. And I'm Linda. And welcome to the Slalakum Shack out here in the marshes of Bacosan. Mm -hmm. We have some a pretty cool item that we're going to bring to you tonight. And we're going to unbox this thing. We've already unboxed it, but we yes. put it back in the box so that we can unbox it. Yeah. It's called the Glass Owl IR Monocular, mm -hmm. the American Way of Adventure. So here it is right here. Look at this. This is a pretty cool thing. It's got an owl on the front. Mm -hmm. And this is a night vision monocular, which we are going to take on our expeditions out into the mountains in search of Bigfoot and other unknown creatures. Right. Gives us night vision capabilities. Yes, it does take photos as well. Photos and video. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's take a look at this. Let's see what the range is on it as well. Right. All because right. it claims to have a pretty good range on it. But with things like this, you really have to test it out to be able to see. Absolutely. And we're going to test it out into the expanse of the marsh yes. that you can kind of see behind us there. Because uh, that's where we're at. We're on the porch of the Stalakum Shack. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing but marsh beyond this shack right yep. here. Pretty cool place. Yeah. This is where we hang out. Okay, so here we are unboxing this thing, and it's got a pretty cool picture on it. Creative XP. Okay, and you can see when you get it, like I said, we already did unbox it, but it's got a pretty extensive manual in here. Okay, that talks about it. And here is the monocular. Taking this thing out of the box, just taking a little look at it. We got a couple buttons, menu mode, the power button on the top. We've got the capture button, okay? And it has a digital zoom and then a focus. So opening up the manual under the specifications, okay? It has all these specifications here, which I'm not gonna go through for the purposes of this video as they're pretty extensive. But one thing I do wanna point out is viewing distance in 100% darkness is said to be 150 to 200 meters. So approximately two football fields should be the viewing distance on this. But I'll just kind of leaf through this here. It's a very extensive book. I'm sure it's probably got a couple of different languages in it. Maybe not. Oh, it's got some other cool items in there as well. Mm -hmm. So we got like a little mini catalog with this, oh man, glass owl, binoculars, yeah. all kinds of cool things. A few things I want to point out here. You don't look through this. That was my first thought. I was like, oh, this is a monocular. I'm used to the <laughs> night vision goggles where you put this part up to your eye and you look through it. It has a screen on the side here or on, on this side. Um, this will focus it. Now, one thing that we found out and Linda looked up YouTube videos of it and everything, and uh, we eventually were able to figure it out. This focuses it, okay? This is not a zoom. The zoom is actually digital zoom with these buttons up here, all right? So I'm gonna power this thing up, hold the power button in for a second, and you'll see the screen comes on. It says Creative XP, and there we are. Mm -hmm. It has the night vision. Nice. So let's look out over to the marsh. Uh, before we do, I'm gonna show you an, a couple of, of things on here. So we have the mode where we can switch. Right now it's on video mode. We can switch this, it'll take pictures. Yeah, you see the picture icon in the upper left-hand corner there. The little camera with the circle in the center. Right on. We have a menu, okay? The menu, you can adjust the photo resolution. You push the button on top, the photo capture button to go into these. It shows you what the photo resolution is, okay? We can go down to, we use the digital zoom buttons to go down, video size. Okay, we have it set to the highest video size, which is 1280. Uh, by 960 okay we have night vision sensitivity we set that to high power frequency you can choose between 50 and 60 mm, yeah we'll not keep it on sure 60 that is, okay and power save is set to 10 minutes okay i believe that's probably if it's left on for 10 minutes it'll right. shut off by shut itself off. Yeah. for power mode we're going to go ahead and click on the menu button to get up out of there and then take it back into video mode and we'll look out over the marsh. The center button you're pushing? I'm pushing, to go into video mode, I'm just pushing mode. Yep, yeah, it's a center button. button. Yep. And it, it's, well, as it'll take you through picture mode and then you can review your oh, pictures that okay. you've taken. Yep. That's the Slockham Shack on that. there. Yep. But I'm gonna put it into video mode. I'm gonna record on this 
And I'm gonna to try to splice that video into our video here so you can see what it actually looks like through this. Right. But let's look out over to the marsh. So we see the tree that's like right in front of us there, but you can see way out into the marsh. Uh, I can zoom out, I can zoom in. I'm gonna to try to zoom in here and see what happens. Oops, I accidentally pushed the record button. So we're recording now. And uh, you can see what's happening here as I zoom in into the marsh. If it gets out of focus, we can turn this a little bit and kind of bring it back. Oh, it. that way's going blurry, so let's turn it back the other way. Mm -hmm. And there we're about in focus. So yeah, you can, can kind of see, see what this looks like. Well. I'm gonna zoom back out. That tree's pretty far too. It is. Yeah, and, and to give you an idea, like this is 100% darkness just about. Uh, where we're looking, when we see that tree, we can not see the trunk of it yeah. lit up as it appears in this screen. So we'll kind of pan over here and see yep. way out into the marsh, which if I pull this down, you'll see it's complete blackness. Yes, right? it really is. So you see the top of the marsh grass there? Yeah. Yeah, so that's not bad. And this you is, see, this is a fairly close tree that you're looking at right now. Yeah, but if, if I move this away, keep the camera there, Mm -hmm. Look, keep the camera there. See, it's pitch black. It is. It is very, very dark. We do have some lights up here and stuff, and you can kind of see them. Yeah. You can see, but when I shine it down to the marsh grass, you can see the IR light that's actually projecting right. out of this projecting onto the out. marsh grass. Yeah. So it does have a very good range. It does. I can't verify that it's definitely as, as far as it says, but this is definitely going to be good for out in the woods, right. seeing beyond the campfire light. Okay, just to show you, right in here, is where the little micro SD card goes. You can not see it as well on oh, here. Yeah, there you go. Slot. And it has the tripod mount. You see the little. Oh, nice. Right there for, you, for you to put it on a tripod. And on the side, it has an actual panel that you can pull down. It's on the opposite side. The panel that you pull down is one that actually contains the batteries inside there. Oh, I see it there. So, It'll slide yes, down part there. If you slide there. that down, it does take, I believe, double A batteries. But let's open that up and take a look. It's been a while since I put the batteries in. There. Oh, okay. So it doesn't oh, yes, it, charge. Yep, double A. No, but it does have some sort of a port. I'm, I'm guessing that's c to connect it to the computer then. Mm, maybe you know? transfer stuff yeah, over. Yeah, transfer photos and images. But yes, it does take so. a few batteries there. Um, you know, so stock up on AA batteries when you buy this thing. We're, we haven't used it enough to see how what the battery life is like on this thing. So um, we can't really say for sure how long these batteries are going to last. But they were brand new when we put them in there. Yeah, and that's another reason to subscribe because you will see how long these batteries last. Yes, because right? we will use them all the way. We are going to be using this on expeditions. Yep. Uh, I'm excited to use this thing. It was not incredibly expensive. Yes, you know, for um, the price that you paid, it actually seems to be a good little. Yes, I don't remember the exact price, but it was under five hundred dollars. I will say that, over a hundred, um, I believe. Yes, but probably uh, under two hundred. Yeah, from what I've seen, on Amazon the, is yes, where we got Amazon. this from. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the glass condor, the glass owl, IR monocular. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just for paranormal investigation by any means. You can use this in regular paranormal investigation. Right. Uh, it's primarily going to be used for our expeditions to lock them, like our Bigfoot expeditions. Mm -hmm. But you can use this if you're just an outdoor enthusiast. If you like to watch the nightlife that comes around your campsite at night. Right. You like to go looking for owls at night. Yes. It's pretty cool to do an owl walk when you're out camping. It's always neat to hike through the woods at night. Yeah, it certainly is. Got to be safe about it, though, of course. Watch yeah. your footing. Take some flashlights with you. Don't use this to kind of watch your path because it can get tricky. Yeah. Right. But thanks for joining us here at this little Lockham Shack. Until next time, I'm Jeff. And I'm Linda. And make sure to like and subscribe because we'll have more reviews of outdoor equipment and a bunch of expeditions coming up. Mm-hmm.